my name is Martin Klima. Uh, I'm the executive producer here at Warhol Studios. We have been in the business for since 2011, that's 12 years now, and uh, we are located in Prague. So over the 11 years uh, Warhol Studios is in existence, it released one game. It's called Kingdom Come Deliverance and it's an open world RPG. Our game, Kingdom Come Deliverance, uh, takes place in uh, Bohemia, at the time part of the Holy Roman Empire, and uh, around the year 1400, and it follows uh, adventures of young blacksmith's like son successful. called Henry. Why? Well, it could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling down. Our game is unique uh, because of its attention to detail, to historical accuracy, or realism. First thing, uh, we tried to make uh, the game visually as accurate as possible. So we were researching period clothing, uh, how various towns, villages, castles looked like. And the combat, we were working with various uh, researchers in the area and we tried to recreate the period combat experience. And this also includes that it's taking place at a real, actual location and you can go there and visit them. And actually a lot of our fans do that. They travel to Sasa Monastery. Visual style of our game tries to be as realistic as possible. This uh, includes the models and the textures. Then uh, uh, we have the animations that are, as a rule, uh, created in the motion capture studio. It's a very complex game. It's probably not suitable for beginners. And our audience is all over the world. Kingdom Come Deliverance was released in uh, 2018. So it took us seven years to develop the game. We released several DLCs, known under the content, uh, that the players can uh, buy. Also, we released some of them for free and that expand the world of Kingdom Come Deliverance and um, allow you to see the story from uh, the eyes of different characters. Unfortunately, I would really love to tell you more about our uh, plans, but uh, at the moment I can't comment on that. Mark Wart von Aulitz. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King of Hungary and Croatia, to restore order in the name of his brother. It how King comes Vences that Czech Luxembourg. games are so successful? Part of the reason is uh, that we have never looked at the Czech market as a primary audience. Almost nobody uh, in the Czech game industry develops game for Czech market exclusively. It's difficult to point at one single award or something, but I think really the biggest achievement is the, the great appeal the game had. It sold uh, over five million copies. That's really unique, I mean, even for an internationally successful game. I think the most important thing uh, about our game is the freedom it offers the players. <laughs>